Let's talk about the Enneagram 9 through the lens of my shadow theory. Nines are vague, smooth, dissociated, unlocatable, withdrawn, dreamy, and on either side they can have a frustration, super ego, one wing, or an assertive rejection, eight wing. And in the lens of this shadow theory I concocted, that they actually can get very triggered or envious of their wing behaviors and traits. Nines can be triggered or even some level envious of the braggadocious, chaotic, brute force, chonk energy of the eight, wondering where this will to power even comes from, as they may only sense it occasionally in themselves in some kind of fantasy narrative. Nines don't like being bossed around or told what to do and can quickly grow to resent people steamrolling them and not making space for them to speak and share. Some nines desire to be more assertive but don't feel the cost is worth it because it usually creates too much of a stir in the waters that they like to keep still. They may see the eight's assertiveness and feel lazy by comparison. As a reaction to wanting to assert their yes or no, they can become just immovable, blobby, gruff, or deliver their iconic silent treatment via ghosting. And regarding ones, nines can be triggered by the self-righteous, rigid criticality while simultaneously engaging in tone policing of others and trying to control the vibe of a room by keeping the temperature on moderate and inoffensive at all times. Nines can be capsized by others' bold certainty and broadcasting of their exact location. It can be overwhelming to the nine when one or one fixers exert their certainty onto the poorest nine, who already might have a bit of this superego criticism making their little cuts in their back at all times. Nines may also envy one as a competency type who is known for its discipline, concision, decisiveness, and whereas the nine can feel they lack in this department. Nines have a line to three, and much like the other assertive type eight, nine can feel somewhat envious or offended by the three's productivity, ability to grind and get after what they want, or their tasteless social climbing concern with optics and positioning and aggrandizing of their abilities, talents, financial situation, or body count. While the nine may excel in the same areas, it might feel kind of gross or dangerous to them to self-promote or dare to brag. They may feel getting overwhelmed and under-delivering, even if they're actually more talented, skilled, or knowledgeable than the three. Nine also has a line to six, which is a reactive type, and that might feel like the six is always trying to draw them into some kind of misery, anxious spiral, argumentative stew, or drama, and the nine may disconnect from themselves in the six's presence, just to avoid disagreement or conflict or escalating hysteria. This can lead to the gaslighting behavior that nines are often known for because they can white lie themselves into oblivion to avoid setting off a reactive type like a six. Nines often become stressed out in six's presence, although they may also be attracted to the sixes alert, questioning, and sometimes downright rebellious energy that they lack.